So somebody's made a private server. You guys know about my history with WoW. Those of you guys who don't know about my history with WoW, I started out as a, I was a, I was a big private server YouTuber. Okay, I wasn't even a streamer first, I was a YouTuber. I played a Rep Paladin, number one Rep Paladin. It was the big memes, you know, Rep Pryo, crack open a Rep Bull, all those things. Okay, you gotta dream the bull to become the bull. It is what it is. That's when I was a criminal, I was. I started as a crim and then I became a PD. In fact, I was Palin Police Force. So I come, that's, that's where I come from. I came from the WoW private server community. I end up getting banned and then it kind of kicks off everything else. Turtle WoW, which is a private server, has made a basically a private server that's been modded. I haven't watched this video yet. People keep asking me to watch this. That uses Unreal Engine. They made a trailer for it. Now, obviously, there's like a lot of different like legalities with like playing private servers and whatnot, but I think it's like interesting to look at. And I have my own opinions on this, but I haven't watched it yet. So I kind of have like some preconceived notions, but we'll see, uh, we'll see how this video turns out. So let's check it out. So the Turtle Wild basically like, what they've been doing is they've been making their own version of a Classic Plus. A lot of people have been talking about Classic Plus for a long time. Uh, that is the idea. Find Season Discovery, you guys have seen my other videos. Uh, you guys have seen my other videos talking about Season Discovery, my concerns, my concerns before launch, uh, my concerns after playing for a while. And uh, I haven't played phase two and three, but I am gonna, I'm gonna come back for phase four. I actually need to level a little bit, I'm behind. But I'll, I'll come back and I'll play phase four so I can have like a, more informed opinion on it, because I still do, like, I get to talk to Blizzard, and I, and I have that, that sort of back and forth with the devs, uh, to be able to give, like, a good informed opinion and, and be able to give good feedback and, and kind of speak to the concerns of what, like, the community has, uh, because regardless of whether or not I'm, like, actively streaming it or making content of it, I'm, I'm always gonna care a lot about WoW, particularly Classic WoW, and I'm a big believer in, like, the provision of Classic WoW. I want, I want people to be able to play the best version of vanilla Burning Crusade and uh, Wrath if they possibly can. So, uh, I was hearing voices, but there's people downstairs. So, are you gonna try War Within? Yeah, I'll play War Within whenever it comes out for a little bit, uh, and, and we'll see how it goes. It's, it's just, a, I mean, it's always gonna be something that's like important to me to like know what's going on and people are gonna ask me about it. So like, it's, I think it's just wise. So anyway, let's watch this video. Still clinging to the old ways, eh? I guess it works. Occasionally. But why settle for the technology of the ancients when the future awaits? Welcome to the dawn of the new age, where legacy meets innovation. Here we make the magic happen. With just a sprinkle of ethereal dust and a bit of help from cutting-edge technology, we explore endless possibilities. Doubtful? Well then. See for yourselves. Okay. Revitalized for the modern era. Ah! Turtle <laughs> now runs smoothly Wait, what? on modern devices. I don't know if I've extended the lifespan of our 20 year old game. performance experience. This is so weird. And for those special oh my gosh, dark shores the there. Dust is so dark. Or want to try something new, we've got you both covered. Turtle WoW 2.0 offers a choice between the beloved vanilla graphics and enhanced visuals, powered by dynamic shadows, Your choice. superior texturing, and more, thanks to the Unreal Engine. Even our Android-loving friends can join in on the fun. Huh? Embrace both the old and new with full add-on support and groundbreaking modding capabilities. I'll be honest, this is incredibly impressive. Like, like going from what the private server community was like eight years ago, nine years ago, ten years ago, like, and that was groundbreaking then. All previous hacking and botting tools ineffective, guaranteeing a fair and immersive gameplay experience. Supported vanilla wild family I mean this is Dive super illegal. Into a vast world of new stories where every turn brings discovery and excitement. A journey awaits. Warm and familiar. But exciting. I would know. I was I was I was one of them. Welcome That's how I got started. All. But like to to regardless of legality or not, to to say that this isn't unbelievably impressive. The fact that they were able to even do it in the first place is is unbelievably impressive. They're saying it's coming 2025. 
Yeah, I mean, you can't really like stream or or I can't really like stream this or make content of it or anything whenever it comes out because Blizzard can just snap the fingers and people poof. I, I mean, that's that's <laughs> that's how I ended up on Twitch. I used to I used to stream on YouTube in 2017. But yeah, I mean, hey, there's a lot, man. I mean, I, I've I've talked about Classic Plus extensively and and what I want out of Classic WoW and what I what I think would be best for for the community of WoW. Uh, of vanilla WoW players, classic WoW players, people that want particularly like vanilla, uh, maybe Burning Crusade, maybe maybe even Wrath. Um, myself, I'm a, I'm a big vanilla Burning Crusade player, and I think a lot of people are. Like vanilla and Burning Crusade are, are kind of like handshake; they're like tied together uh, for a lot of people. But then uh, the game starts to change a lot in Wrath. It changed a lot in Burning Crusade, but it changes a lot, a lot in Wrath. It starts to, and then you get the Cataclysm, and it's like, is this the same game? What happened? I love WoW. I will always love WoW. Whether I'm playing it or not, and and like being a paladin, the retribution paladin, right? Number one ret, S fan, Ferlina, all that stuff. Like it was, it was, uh, it, it's a good time. So I, I'm always going to want other people to be able to enjoy the game that I played the most growing up, right? And whenever I talk about favorite game, I like don't consider like live service games. I don't, I don't think about live service games, but it was, it, WoW was like a huge part of who I was. It's a huge part of like my YouTube channel, how I got started, all that stuff. So uh, even a part of my character, you know? So uh, you talk about WoW like an XGF you lost your V card to. Well, I'm a virgin. So uh, S fan TV, that's what the turbo version, that's what TV stands for. I mean, I think this looks cool, right? Like, I mean, regardless of the legality of it or whatnot, or like, I mean, I, I can't stream it or make videos of it either whenever it comes out, but to, to act like it's not unbelievably impressive is a little bit naive and, and, you know, intellectually dishonest, right? This is cool to see, not gonna lie. I think it's cool and I don't necessarily think they overdid it either. I mean, if you go back, now, now look at how dark and like dreary Duskwood is. This is something interesting. So in the original WoW Alpha, in the original WoW Alpha, Duskwood actually looked more like this, thematically. It was, apparently it was even darker and you had to have a torch. There used to be, so you can see in, in Vanilla WoW, there's some items that have like, they're like torches that like have a glow. You would literally, the idea was it was super dark and you couldn't see and you had to have a torch out. But then they ended up changing it for, for release um, or by the time it released. At least that's just like dev stories that, that we had heard over the years. Uh, it's kind of interesting that it's so dark in this Unreal Engine because that's that was like the original vision for what Duskwood was in the first place. But yeah, so I hope you guys are excited, man. I mean, like I, I'm always I'm always gonna care about WoW and I'll, and I'll do like these WoW, WoW videos and stuff like that. But I hope you guys enjoy. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys next time.